All right, guys, drive tour time. This is a really cool park. We're here in the historic Boulder City, and we're just driving from the Coffee Cup, which is a cute little place for breakfast and or lunch, to Hemingway Park. So I thought, you know what? Time for a drive tour. So just kind of perusing the area. It looks really cool. And steve going with his GPS because we don't know where we're going. Arizona Street. You see Arizona Street? I do not. Here it is. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so it gives you a flavor of the... A flavor? A flavor of the homes. A lot of these homes are very yeah, these small. Were the, a lot of these were the homes that they um, made for the for the workers that built Boulder Dam. 800 feet, turn right to stay on Avenue I. Oh yeah, here's the lake. You get a view of the lake? Check out the view of the lake. So the Hemingway Park is, definitely has beautiful views of the lake. And it's known for its bighorn sheep, so that's the main reason why we're going. Hoping they'll be active today because the last time we went there, it was warmer. So and it's cold, it's January, so it's a different time frame. I guess they Okay. to miss opportunities for drive tours. Sometimes we're driving around I'm like, you know what? This is a new area. Why am I not vlogging this? And I'm like, oh my gosh. So this is... Yeah, you missed a good view of the park because you... Yeah, there was like a big piece, like a metal historic looking ancient piece in, in the park. It looks like it's from the dam. Actually, when I did that um, historic railroad trail and I kept going to the very end, there was the, the boneyard I think that's what they called it. And it was all the pieces from the dam. <clears throat> so it was kind of interesting, so. Definitely pretty built up around here. So yeah, the what the sheep do, the reason why they hang out at this park is because they come down and graze on the grass from the hills. So they normally live up on the hills, but they're like, hey, you know, uh, it's not a bad gig over here. So that's what happened. So you're not supposed to pet them or bother them, but they definitely get close to you. <laughs> they just kind of hang out like <clears throat> within 10 feet and just kind of stare at you. <laughs> if, I know, if I remember right, this park you're not supposed to bring your dogs to. Yeah, I can see that because I because of the sheep. I can see the uh, curiosities of puppies wondering what the heck these things are. All right, guys. Well, that's our drive tour to the park. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. All right. Well, we lucked out. There's three right here, and there's two up on the hill over there. Um, but definitely more when it's warmer because we had a bunch here when we were here during the warm time, warmer months. Oh, oh yeah, there's another one over there by the bathrooms. There's a big one. A big one. Let's go check that out. Let me zoom in real quick. 
There he is by the bathroom. Look at them. They're just like so close to people. They don't even care. That's all.